Welcome, Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. If you ever want to skip ahead, please know uh, times will that this could resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. I'll be reading the overall energy, the connection, what you're feeling or experiencing, what's kind of going on between you and this person, and then their energy at the bottom. Nine of Cups. This is about something that's going to make you really happy. Some kind of wish, okay? This is about things coming together. Nine of Cups. Some kind of fulfillment here. Fulfillment of a promise is what I'm hearing. I was also getting the word renewal when I was doing meditation for this. Like something coming together or being renewed or being restored in some way. Defending something, protecting something. It's time for something to come together so you can finally get some kind of promise fulfilled. Strength card could be with a Leo. Okay. Um, courage, confidence is what I'm hearing. Overcoming something. Sending your ground in regards to something. Could be at a distance from this person, or uh, could be travel involved, could be communication over the web, okay? Um, a very kind of interesting energy. Because it's like um, protecting something, freeing something, you know, with this. Something being released. It's like someone's confronted with something here. But it's like breaking something free, having the strength, the courage, determination to move forward. Something that may have been trapped in the past, it's releasing that from whatever this obstacle was, fighting for something, fighting to break through, fighting to make contact. There's like say renewal, like an energy of renewal. It's like overcoming something and a, like an obstacle being cleared so that this person can come towards you or that you can move forward together. You can meet, communicate. I get like an energy of defensiveness, like wanting to protect this. You know, there's confidence and courage here. Overcoming something. This is about happiness. This is about your wish. This is something you want. You hold dear to your heart. Fulfillment. Man of Cups. It's about manifesting something. Being successful in that. So close to achieving what you want. What are they thinking? What is this person's thoughts towards you in this connection? What are they thinking about? Well, there you are. This is Earth Energy. This is your energy, that Queen of Pentacles. So you're on their mind. You know, with this card, I always get like an energy of like, what you have to offer is a prize because you hold it up high, right? I think this person sees your worth and I feel like they see the potential of what this could be. You know, maybe there have been obstacles in the past that have prevented them to be, from being free to move towards something that's kind of haunted them or kind of loomed in the background. Something they were afraid to face or encounter. But with this energy here, I do feel like that's being overcome. I feel like it's about fighting for what you want. Fighting to break through. Fighting to make contact. Fighting to be together or to move forward or to clear the obstacles, right? Um, possibly people who don't want the two of you to be together. Okay, those challenges. Queen of Pentacles, you know, this is somebody who you you want beside you, okay? How they think about you, how they, what's on their mind. Queen of Pentacles, like I said, that's your energy. This is someone who's very loyal, respectful, determined. You know, she's not someone who backs down. Male, female, doesn't matter. The energy that comes through. This is somebody you want beside you. This is a ride or die. This is not somebody who's, you know, in and out, inconsistent, hot and cold, back and forth, 
you know, who can't figure out what they want. No, the Queen of Pentacles, she knows what she wants. She fights for things that's important to her. You know, she's not going to be someone, when times get hard, she's going to be there to support you. You know, through ups and downs, you know, she's going to be there by your side. You know, you'll build together. She's in it for the long haul. She's in it to win it kind of energy. And you know, this is the kind of person you want to rule beside you. Because they're not going to leave you when things get rough. And they think about you that way. Like they know that you're someone that they want to be with long term. Someone they feel committed to or they think about commitment with. What are their feelings, please, Spirit? What are their feelings? Two cards coming out. There's like an energy of longing here. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, there's an energy of like longing, distant. Like they, they feel you. They feel you calling out to them. They feel themselves being pulled, guided to you, guided to this connection. It's like you're manifesting them. You're manifesting some kind of renewal. Um, their feelings here with the Ace of Cups. I mean, I feel like I don't even have to, you know clarify this but ace of cups is about a beginning in love this is emotion this is you know wanting to move forward wanting to strengthen the connection strengthen that bond you know feeling tied to someone feeling your heart like your heart their heart you're in it right they feel like they belong to you and you belong to them you know and not in a bad way they feel that their heart is yours There's like a longing here. What are their intentions? Okay, that's a lot of cards, but let's look at them real quick. We have the Four of Wands. So, 11, 11. Some of you, this could be a really strong soulmate energy. Some of you, this may even resonate as a twin flame connection. Um, this is about building something here. This person, they... They feel some kind of regret, but I feel like they're coming in to offer you a cup. Like, just when you feel like things weren't moving forward, they're coming in and they're being very clear about how they feel. You know, there's some regret here about hurting you in the past or missing you, right? They're telling you that they've missed you, they thought about you. They Gemini Virgo energy, they want to manifest this. You know, they want. They feel like they have what it takes. They know it's going to be hard. Like, there's some kind of obstacle or challenge here, but they want to make this work. Give me one card that... Uh, sums up their intentions with Taurus, okay? One card to the spirit. Yeah. They're going to be very clear with you about their intentions and wanting to build something here, wanting to renew something. This could be kind of quick, too. Their intention may be to kind of rush in here with this Knight of uh, Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What are their potential actions towards you in this connection? The Death card, Scorpio energy, and the Hierophant Taurus energy. So they may be wanting to transform something. Maybe this ended in the past with some kind of renewal, some kind of transformation energy here. Uh, with the Hierophant, this is transforming things with you. Some of them, if they're married, they may be leaving that situation. It could be a marriage that's ending. It could be ending things with the fellow Taurus. Or transforming things with you. Because with, with endings bring forth new beginnings. And like I said, something that was heavily coming through for me was uh, renewal. Okay, um, Maybe making things more balanced than it was in the past. That Six of Pentacles under the deck. What uh, do you need to know about the situation or what guidance may there be, Spirit? Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So, this person, they want this. They have, like, this strength here within them, okay? And I feel like you do as well. But there's, like, been this decision that this person's been holding off or making. Though they feel this fire, this drive forward with you. Because it has given them a lot of anxiety, okay? A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of fear and worry. 
but they are going to continue to work on this with you because they want this and they know that with reward there are risks right no risk no reward um, under the deck here we have the ten of cups six of pentacles temperance chariot four of swords and the king of cups you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a water sign perhaps uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio this is about happiness and long term combining a families coming together you know making things balanced and equal healing here this moving forward preparation meditation waiting to move forward to, to express their heart because this person's been holding back a lot about how they feel and what they want for the future what are the potential obstacles challenges things you should know something just not enough healing heart anything additionally please photograph and keys on a ring many options decision unconventional string along a one night stand like I said, I feel like there's a sense of renewal. Maybe this person's had options, choices to make, okay? Some of you, this may have started as like a one-night stand or affair or, you know, physical relationship. You know, it wasn't their intention to like fall for you, like fall in love with you or to want more. I do want to say, that, and again, please note this is a general reading, Okay not going to fully resonate for every single one of you okay some of you one sentence could be for you half it all of it none of it right for some of you the barrier obstacle could have been that they hooked up with someone in the separation or break maybe this person even had a child okay or they got married to this person because of a child and they are not happy it was it was just meant to like be like a one time thing, and they ended up getting tied down to it or to this person, or this person had some kind of leverage or hold over them. That's not for all of you, obviously, but um, this person wasn't intended looking for the lover situation, but they never really been able to let you go, and I feel like there may be influences who try to like hold them back from the situation. Now, I want to look at these cards. We have not enough. So, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, and jealousy. I feel like this person has, has constantly kind of felt like unsatisfied and unfulfilled in relationships. So, they may have had some kind of fear of commitment. With healing heart here, I feel like uh, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. They're breaking free from something that's been unhealthy for them. And we do have photograph here, which says looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and make new memories. They're looking back about the past. They're looking about, about the situation with you, you know, when they were most happy, and that was with you. There's like this energy, like want to reach out and heal the situation, to transform the situation, to renew the situation. There's a renewal taking place here. They see you as their partner, long term, someone they want to build with, you know. They have, I like you under here. Look at this. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wants to date. The sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, celerity, force, honor, protection, and power. They want to protect this connection. They want to move forward. They want to break free of obstacles, courage, and confidence here to make some kind of change, you know. Uh, thinking about the future, thinking about love, longing for this, longing for this new beginning, wanting to transform the situation. You know, yes, it's given them a lot of anxiety, but pretending to work on this because they want it. They're looking and reflecting things about the situation with you. This could be contact coming in unexpectedly. This could be a message online, a text message, an email, social media, something that just pops up out of nowhere, okay, because they've been thinking about you. I also get for some of you, they may be checking up on you on social media, looking at photographs that you post, and that may actually be what triggers them to reach out to you because they see you and they just can't stay away anymore. They want to renew this. So that's what I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for those of you who sent in donations. They are greatly appreciated. Thank you uh, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I'm wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.